In this video, we'll talk about using the Novation Launchpad in conjunction with Mixcraft's Performance Panel. When you plug in the Launchpad for the first time, you're going to see this message. This means Mixcraft has detected that a new USB device has been plugged in, so click OK. Then go to Mixcraft's Preferences and select Control Surfaces. Click the down arrow next to Add New and select Launchpad. And then I'll select Launchpad Mini for the ins and outs. This essentially means that the launchpad is plugged into the computer using its own USB cable. Now I'll press OK, and the launchpad is ready to use. Now that the launchpad is plugged in, let's explain what its controls do. The top row up here initiates playback of sets. So if I press 1, set 1 will start. And if I press 2, set 2 plays, and so forth. The individual grid buttons light up to show that a clip is in each one of the grid locations. For example, this clip right here represents the one in the corner here, and there's a clip below it right here, but there's no clip in this one, so it's not lit up. When a clip is playing in a particular grid location, it turns green, and we can start playback by simply pressing it. And in this way, you can play any clips you like. If we initiate playback of an entire set, you'll see that all the clips in that column will light up green. And if we change sets, the next ones flash until they play back. You can also stop playback of any clips in a row by pressing any empty grid locations in that row. So for example, say I'm playing this clip right here. If I press one of the empty locations, it'll stop after the countdown. Let's say I have an entire set playing. I can use any of the blank buttons to stop any of the clips in the rows. If you remember, the Q control over here makes Mixcraft wait until this amount of time has gone by before switching to the next set. So for example, if I have this set to two bars, you'll see that the green light will flash while it's counting down. This is easier to demonstrate than to explain, so let's start a set playing. And when I select another set, you'll see it count down those two bars. So that way you'll know that a new set is about to start. You can play any clips at any time. You're not stuck with what's playing in that particular set, so you can just press different buttons and these clips start playing. You might notice that this particular Mixcraft project has 10 sets and 10 tracks, but the Launchpad controller is only an 8x8 grid, which leaves us with more tracks and sets than buttons. But we can easily get around this limitation. See this light blue box right here? This represents the area that the Launchpad is currently controlling. If you'd like to move this blue box to a different location to control these sets or these tracks down here, you can use the A and B buttons to scroll up and down. And you can use the C and D buttons to scroll right and left. So if I'm over here now, and I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see the bottom, now I can control these clips down here. And these ones over here. One particularly fun way to use the launch pad is to load some one-shot drum and percussion sounds with the Q setting set to instant. This lets you use launch pad's buttons to play live drum and percussion sounds. Mm -hmm. 